All right, let's resume after our technical difficulties. Where were we? We were talking about the, uh, the fairly modest advances that uh, the... Uh, oh, golly. You know, I'm just having all sorts of issues with this little camera stand today. All right. We're talking about the advances of the Soviets into the Finnish territory, and they made... Uh, some decent headway here, headway here in the first turn they knocked out uh, seven combat factors worth of uh, Finns but lost, uh, sorry, six factors but lost seven. Uh, so a one-for-one -one exchange. Uh, interestingly enough, as a uh, counter approach over in this area in uh, Kumo, uh, there was only one unit guarding this road here and so the uh, the Finns decided to counterattack and, and, and knock that out. And by doing so, they forced these guys to stay where they are. Uh, and this is because you can exit a zone of control, but you can't move directly into another zone of control. Um, and that just reminds me, those 1-1 one, one, three chappies may not have a zone of control, or it might be a special rule where it's no zone of control in... In the USSR. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, so these guys are stuck. So they they, they can't move uh, this turn because they, anywhere they go, they would have to move in, into a zone of control. So they, that what that does then is forces them to sit where they are, and because they're adjacent to Finnish units, they actually have to attack them. So these guys have to attack these guys at, uh, you know, eight to one. I don't mind losing this unit. I'm okay with that. And these guys here, it'll be a three to one attack, and they'll probably win that battle. But we're not letting them penetrate deeper into the uh, into the Finnish uh, hinterlands. Uh, there's some strong victory point uh, cities uh, just right here, so we don't want that to happen. What we want to be able to do is uh, is throw forces in the way and let them chew up or be chewed up by the by the Soviets, and also threaten their supply. So these guys are going to have a supply issue this turn. All right, so that's kind of uh, the situation to be at the end of the movement for the Soviets. Uh, we've had uh, uh, some muddling along over here. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do up in that end of the world. Uh, we killed two units here, or actually forced one to retreat and one died in the exchange. We lost a unit there. Uh, they're going to have issues uh, with supply uh, unless they, then we move this headquarters, which we've elected not to for the time being. And that is the overall situation down on uh, the Mannheim uh, line. The, the attacks were inconclusive and there have been no attacks here. The plan is that we're trying to circle around and get a three hex uh, attack on this fortress uh, portion of the, I think it's called the, the Lagoda line. Yeah. And uh, uh, that will uh, precipitate us trying to knock these guys out one at a time. I'd really like to try and get some units in here and lock all those in so that they're blocked in uh, and not able to be reinforced. But uh, these guys only move two hexes a turn, so it's a little bit of a slow hike at the moment. All right, we'll uh, see what happens at the end of the combat.